Hey, good afternoon. How are you guys all doing today? It is Tuesday. Tuesday. What is today? Oh my gosh, August 28th. Are you kidding me right now? It is going to be a uh, Labor Day weekend. How is that possible? Unbelievable. And you know what? I'm here uh, in Sebastopol, California, in, in beautiful Sonoma County, and it's been the strangest weather. Okay, so I came, I moved up here from Santa Clarita, and now here I am in Sebastopol, Sonoma County, and it's actually cold. Like, I'm literally wearing a sweater and boots, okay? Because it was freezing this morning. It is just the most bizarre weather ever. You know, coming from this deserty area down in Southern California and up here, it's just been a, a real, you know, really interesting. So anyway, hey guys, great to see you guys. Thanks for coming on. All right, so what am I talking about today? I want to practice a little bit of a presentation that I'm getting, I'm giving on Thursday. I'm actually speaking at a uh, uh, Nestle Corporation to I'm apparently a bunch of women, uh, corporate women. And my topic is discover your I, as in discover your identity, your impact, and your influence. So I'm just going to go over, I'm just going to go ahead and practice part of my presentation here. And I thought it would be good to put it out there for you. Um, Tim at Gillette, holy cow, I haven't seen you in forever. Anyway, so we're talking about discover your identity today. So this this uh, speaking engagement that I have at Nestle is going to be really interesting. So I've been working on a presentation and um, it's interesting because a lot of things are coming up. And some of you know, um, I'm good, Tim. Hi, Laurel. How are you guys doing? Awesome. So basically, if you, some of you know my story, some of you don't know my story, but um, discover your I came to me when I was in a mastermind with actually Tim Gillette, who's on right now. And uh, it, w it came to me because I was told I had to write a book. <laughs> and who wants to write a book? Like a big book. Like there's people, of course, everybody I think wants to tell their story and write a book. But when it comes down to the, the details of that, it was a, it was a big job. And I thought, I don't have time to do this. I owned a tutoring business. I was busy. And so I came up with Discover Your Eye. And this is going to be backwards because I'm doing this from my phone. But um, this was the first book, Discover Your Eye. And I as in your identity. So what happened was, and I'm just giving you a little background before I get into part of my presentation here. But identity is a word that's really, uh, it's in my heart. It's important to me to own my identity and it's really really my passion to get the word out that you need to own who you are know who you really are and not just on the surface okay my story of basically for 13 years giving up or burying I should say maybe not giving up my identity but burying it really deep away and living my life for someone else um, it was, it was a crazy time. And when that whole marriage ended and I li I realized that I was getting up every day, trying to uh, living someone else's dreams and living someone else's identity. And I didn't know who I was. And then when I was in my car accident and I was lying in that hospital bed, not even realizing who I was or what I had to live for. That was like this big changing day of my life, getting hit by that truck. I mean, in more ways than one, right? So anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent here, but what I want to talk about is discovering your identity. So part of my, and like I said, for those of you who just got on here, I'm speaking at, at a corporate office uh, on Thursday. And so I'm doing a presentation on identity. So I want to share some of my content with you, just the first part of it. Um, because I actually have to meet my sister in a little bit. So anyway, there are two, there's two different um, thoughts as far as identity goes. And if any of you know, you're on online, if you are somebody that follows online marketers, Frank Kern is a really, uh, really super famous internet marketer. And I just got done watching again for the second time. He has a video called Core Influence. And a big part of this talk is about identity and what people do. Okay. So people are usually walking around with, this is what he says. He believes that people walk around with two different identities. The first one they rock is the one they walk around with on a daily basis called their shell identity. Like 
they walk around and say, you know, I'm a teacher or I'm a banker or I'm a, you know, candlestick maker, huh, whatever, whatever it is, it's your shell identity. That's not who you really are. Your core identity is what's really inside you. What do you really want? I want to be a rock star or I want to be whatever it is that you want to be. Um, or that's really inside you. That's your true identity. And then I found this other, uh, this other kind of a famous thing that was out there that is there's an old saying that says you are three people, that we are all three people. And the first person is the person that you think you are, which is kind of what I was just talking about. The person that you walk around that's just kind of your label that you put on you every day. The second you is the you is the identity that other people who other people think you are. So what so many of us forget is that when you meet people and they don't really know your insides, they don't know who you are at your core, what kind of person you are, they are going to have a perception of you. And usually that perception happens in the first, what, three seconds. So you've got the person that you think you are, the person other people think you are. And in the workplace, like if you're, you work with people somehow, a lot of times people that are in the higher levels, like CEOs and those managers, those type of people, they don't really let you in to know who they really are, but maybe they should <laughs> because you are going to have a perception of them. Does that make sense? The third person is the person that we really are. So I'm actually looking over here because I have my slides that I'm working on. Um, so let's talk about the person that you think you are real quick. Okay. The person you think you are is the one when people go up, ask you this question, how many of you get this question asked all the time? What do you do? Hey, nice to meet you, especially at networking events. What do you do? Oh my gosh, I hate that question. So 99% of the people, when someone asks them what they do, they just automatically say whatever labels are put on them or that you put on yourself. Like, you know, they'll either say something like, I'm an actor or I'm a lawyer or I'm a, a cancer survivor or I'm a 29 year old or I'm a procrastinator or I have ADD or whatever, different labels. Um, I'm a mom, I'm a sister, I'm a brother, whatever. So that is kind of the surface, like, like Frank Kern was talking about, your surface identity. But really, and uh, sorry, I'm, I, oh, here, here's what you're not. And I would like you guys to do, a, do me a favor and write some, start writing some things down about who you really are. But here's who you are not. Your identity is not these things. Your identity is not what you do for a living. Your identity is, identity is not who you're with, okay? That was a big mistake I made when I was married years ago to the rock star, right? I was, my identity became that. So you are not who you're with. You're not the roles that you play in life, like mother, daughter, sister, brother, those kind of things. You are not your family. You're not your religion. You are not your race. You are not your age. You're not your gender, okay? And you're definitely not your resume of jobs, okay? That is not who you are. That is not who you are. That's not your identity. So let's talk about who are you then? <laughs> so I have a, a little, uh, this is what I want you to do. And you know what? I, I have this six page questionnaire that I actually just did it myself. I went and sat somewhere really, really calming and beautiful. And I filled out this questionnaire. It was a lot of questions that drew out who I really am on the inside. So here's what I want you to do first is think of something that you really love to do that you really love. Like when you do this thing, time stops. You're completely engaged. You're completely super unbelievably happy. Like if you could wake up tomorrow morning and you could do this one thing that makes you so happy and feel so good, what is that thing that you do? Okay. Figure out what that is first. One of my things is driving. I love to just get in my convertible, put the top down and drive and just, and just really take in the, take in the world, right? That's one of the things that I love to do. But what is something that you absolutely love and it's just in your heart and soul and it just makes you so happy? So then once you do that, once you figure out that one thing that you love to do, your identity is going to come through that. So here's how it happens. So here's an example. I love coaching and facilitating um, people. I like speaking and, and coaching and that kind of thing and helping people with their businesses. I love it. It's one of the things that I really love to do. What qualities 
come out of me when I'm doing that. So here's a list of some of the qualities that might come out of me when I'm doing something that I love like that. I am compassionate. I'm generous. I'm connected. I'm wise. I'm loving. I'm nurturing. I'm, I'm uh, present. I'm thoughtful. Okay, there's a lot of those kind of words that, that bring out who I am when I'm doing that thing that I love, right? But here's a cool thing. I also love being with my new sister. Okay, I'm up here. I moved up here. I like hanging out with her. I'm going to meet her. I got to get in the car and go in just a few minutes. Um, and all of those same qualities that I get from doing something I love comes out when I'm doing things with her too. So it's not about your job. It's not about those things all the time. So here's what I want you to do. Sit down and figure out what you love to do. Then write down, I love and write what you love to do. And then when I'm doing this, I am blank and write as many words as you can think of that bring out who you are when you're doing that thing you love. That is the first thing. All right. So that's your first homework assignment. This is going to be part one. I'm going to keep going with this, but this is one of the things I'm going to do in my talk on Thursday. So sit down and really think about what you absolutely love to do, how it makes you happy and what qualities come out of you when you're doing that one thing. If you want, I have this amazing a list of things that have questions. If you really want to figure out who you are from the inside and what you should be doing with your life and what your purpose is, it is a really cool questionnaire that you will need to sit down and uh, fill out. It might take you an hour or two, um, and it's but it's pretty darn powerful. So anyway, own who you are, own your identity, go out there and do things that you love. Let me know if you want to chit chat. I would love that. I'm out of here. I'm going to go have happy hour with my sister and do something that I love. All right. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here and have a great day.